Hello everybody, my name is Lindsay and today <laughs> I wanted to share with you some just chores, things I need to get done. So I built the cabinet, it's behind me. I don't wanna show it to you until you see the footage. So I built the cabinet that's like over here between the wall and the the range. <laughs> so I have that footage right here, so let's watch that first. Okay guys, so first obviously we had to pull the range out and it just sat in the middle of my kitchen for a couple days. That was really fun. Um, so I started out by, I was seeing what the that cable thing was first and then I realized I needed to sweep really badly because Roxy's hair somehow gets under my range. I don't know. I don't know how it happens. It just does. And so there was a million Roxy hairs down there and I swept all those up and dumped them. It was felt really nice actually. <laughs> and then I came back and I took the drill and I just took off this like cable line cover and then we took that out to cut the line, got rid of it. Um, and now I'm just measuring for the boards to go on the wall. So we're using the wall as part of the actual cabinet just so that I can make the cabinet as wide as possible. So yeah, and then also I kind of wanted it to hang over more on the wall. So that's what I'm doing here. Just putting the boards on the wall, making sure that they're at the right height, making sure that it's level. Those are just the two most important things. <laughs> making sure that they're level and at the right height for what you need. And I realized that there was only one stud where the actual boards were that I was hanging up. So I did when I put the, the second screw in at the back, I had to like drill it in at an angle so that it would hit the other stud that's like in that back corner. And so that's kind of what I had to do there. But yeah, it was, it was all good. <laughs> um, but honestly, like I really do, I really do love this cabinet. I think it looks so much better. It just, I don't know, it's been gnawing at me to make this cabinet for a really long time. So here I am trying to find a stud and I'm like, well, crap, <laughs> didn't make the boards long enough. But it's all good. It's I, I, it, it works out. It's really, it doesn't have to hold up very much. So I just am trying to just drill it in. And I think I actually got Devin to help me drill these ones in because they are so hard to like push in, um, to especially the ones in the back corner. So I was just getting Devin to help me hang what I needed to hang. And I'm also checking to make sure that the boards are the right size because you never know that you cut them the right way until you get to actually building something. But so I, uh, like, as you see, like there's that little piece of, wood that I had that's like attached to the two boards that's pushed out from the wall. It was just like perfect. It was just perfect for what we needed and so I was able to use the wall as part of the cabinet and then I added like that little lip at the end and it's like hanging over the wall and then it's just it works so well guys. It's, it's such a nice cabinet and I it's perfect for what I'm using it for. So I made it specifically to put cookie sheets on. Like, yeah, it's like the perfect size for my cookie sheets. Dan was obviously trying to get in the way while I was making my cabinet and everything. He was having lots of fun getting in the way. Also, while we were making these this cabinet, while well, I was making it, Devin came and helped a little bit, but he was more in charge of like watching Dan, making sure he didn't get into anything. And while I was doing that, we were watching Divergent. If you've ever seen that series, we, we, um, I don't know, we saw this thing that reminded us of like the post-apocalyptic utopian series. And they're like, we're like, let's watch all the Divergent movies. And then after that, we were like, hey, let's watch all of the, let's watch all of the Hunger Games. So we just started Hunger Games last night. And I forgot how long those movies are. Oh my gosh, they're crazy. We only got halfway through before we had to go to bed and then I realized, like, we looked at how long the movie is. It's like two and a half hours long for the first one. I still really like them. And so we're just on the first one. We'll probably watch all of them at some point. But they're really good. I, th I think they're good. 
But yeah, so I don't know. What are your favorite like movie series? We really enjoy like Harry Potter and everything. Oh, here I am just filling in the hole where the where that um, outlet, not outlet, the cable box was. I don't know. Cable out, cable, cable. I don't know. What is it called? It's like an outlet cover, but not. I don't know. Anyway, I filled it in. And then here I am showing what it would look like with the boards in with the with the range there. I just wanted to make sure the range would fit with all the boards in and everything because that's important to make sure that that happens and it does and so here I'm just getting the back piece on. I had to use these two by four pieces for one to drill them into the back wall but also just for spacing because there was an inch and a half uh, extra space behind the cabinet just so that I wouldn't have to use as much wood. I was using all the wood that we have in our garage and I didn't want to like, I don't know, I didn't want to have to get more wood and I, you know. So I just used what we had, made it really, really, really easy. And yeah, so Devin's just helping me with that part. And now we're just looking at how it would look with these boards on the side. I'm hitting all of the nails in. I was, what was I doing? I don't know what I did there actually. I think I was hitting some like screws maybe harder like getting the screws in there really good or something. I don't know. I don't know what I did there to be honest but I'm just using my it's like an oil primer and I did clean these off a little bit before. I didn't catch that actually but I did clean these off and what's nice about this primer is that it really adheres to the paint or to the texture of anything it, it can adhere to anything because it is an oil base and so that's what I'm using here just um, using that and then letting that dry I'm also going to paint the other boards on the inside so that I don't have to worry about like painting those because it's such a skinny shelf so I'm painting painting those before I attach them um, but yeah so I think it, it looks a lot better with it painted I can tell you that much and that's just the top piece. I had to, so I attached a top piece like during this whole process and then I ended up taking it off because I realized that the ca cabinet would be too tall. So I found something that was, it was like a half inch that I was using but I needed it to be a quarter inch so I went and found a different board that was a quarter inch and we cut that. So then I just took some silicone and I filled in all of the little holes that were everywhere from it being old wood from other things, other projects. And I just filled it in with all the silicone, made any spaces filled in with silicone as well just to make it look really nice before I got the second, like the actual paint on. So this is just a white paint and primer. I don't know. It, it was just what I had. I wasn't that worried about it. It's whatever I had on hand is what I'm using because I'm just trying to use what I have and it's just the inside of a cabinet I think with the bottoms like with the actual shelves I'll probably put like a contact paper or some kind of barrier between when I put the actual cookie sheets in there and stuff so I'll probably do that but I'm not that worried about it yet anyway and so I was able to get half of this side on and I needed to wait before I put the second piece on, but I just have it set in there. So this is the one I actually attached. And then I want to, I wanted to show you that it, you can put a cookie sheet in there. It's like the perfect size. It's wonderful. And then um, the second piece that goes at the front here is one that I just, I'm setting there. I didn't actually attach it. It's still not attached at this point in time because I haven't got the countertop on and I want to get the countertop on before I can do that. So, yep, there we go. It's great. <laughs> also, I did want to say that I am still, I, I'm going to put like a door on the very front of it just so that matches everything else and just that's the inside of the cabinet is white but the outside of the cabinet is going to be the green like all the rest of my cabinet. Doesn't that just, it looks so much better. I needed that there I think and I still obviously need to do the countertop and like underneath and stuff. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> it was just a shadow from the rug, but I need to do like underneath there as well, but I definitely like it so much better now. I am going to be putting my cookie sheets in there just for, I don't know, easy storage, I guess. They're currently down here, 
but I made this specifically to put cookie sheets in so it's like they fit perfectly in there. And then I still, I still need to get the cabinet, cabinet that's gonna go up here. So I think I've already mentioned, I'm gonna have like a straight piece of wood come down here so that it's the same like deepness as that. Also I put this on, I put this piece of thing on. I'm gonna paint it the same color as everything, but now it doesn't look as unfinished. It's a little bit more finished, but there's gonna be like a piece of wood that comes down and then over here, there will be a shelf that I can access through this side and that'll just be nice to have. <laughs> so there's a few things that I need to do. So if you guys wanna come along with me, I'm just, let's just start like the voiceover and music and stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so this first thing that I'm doing is I'm replacing these blinds that are in my kitchen with ready shades. I don't, I, I tried to show you what they were, what they were called, but the camera didn't focus, so I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, so I'm just taking off the old blinds. Obviously, I have to clean off my counter because after doing the project with the cabinet, my kitchen kind of got out of control again. It just happens when you're doing projects and things, so I'm taking off my blinds and it got real dark when you can see outside, <laughs> and then I'm just taking off the old hardware for the old blinds just trying to make it look good gooder <laughs> look better I should say and um, I do end up filling in those holes with silicone I don't think I filmed that part but that's okay and then we did throw away the old blinds just because they were broken and we didn't think anyone would want them for anything honestly the it, they're just not great and so I'm just using these ones as kind of an interim type of shade. They work really nice and they're really easy to attach. They're, you just take off this adhesive. You cut them to the right size. I just used my sharpest knife in my kitchen and it cut up real, real easy. It was really nice. And then you just take off the adhesive strip and you just attach them like that. I did attach them backwards, but it's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not that worried about it. These shades are about I think they were like $5 a piece. So they're really inexpensive and it's just something, that's when I realized I put them on the wrong way. Um, but it's fine, it's not a big deal, no one cares. Um, and so I, yeah, I just, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, but yeah, I just think they are really, they're really great. They're really inexpensive and they're really easy to attach. They're a great, like middle ground until I figure out what I want to do with this window treatment but I actually wanted something that I could lift and like you know move but the other ones were broken so I couldn't do that. <laughs> I actually really like them. They're definitely easy to put on and so that was great and I think they definitely look better than they did before than those blinds. Those blinds just look dumb. <laughs> These ones are a really inexpensive fix if you don't like your current blinds. And also Roxy is chewing on a bone, so ignore her. All right, you can't really tell what it looks like. Like it does not look like it does in person. I, I like how much um, lighter it feels like, and the blinds, I can actually open and close them. So that's awesome. So like, it comes with these little like clips like that and you just lift it up to how far you want it to go up and sure it takes a little bit of finagling to get it all the way up but it's much further than it was when I had my old ones so I would much rather have these and then you just kind of do that and then you can have your blinds up and you can actually look out the window, which is great. Or you can take them down. Okay, so I'll have Devin take these out to the garbage, I think, later. Um, I wanna hang the shelf for the bathroom. I, I think I meant to get a smaller shelf, but this will be fine. <laughs> so it has like drilled holes for where you want it to go. So I'm gonna put the top parts in 
and then we'll go take it into the bathroom and hang it. Little screws, I'm sure, go into the actual shelf. So let's put it together first. This song is called Pandemonium, and it is the tribute version by the band Mondays. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly beautiful. Oh, you shine like gold, so selfless to all. And wild like an animal. Oh. Some would say I'm insane in the right and away, but I just love to play in your fun and doorway I when we put the doorway back so we just reused a lot of the same stuff that we had before we started the renovation and when we put it back we realized that because it came from a different doorway <laughs> that this door frame did not fit this doorway so you know we just put some spray foam in there cut it off and now I'm just puttying it up I've been needing to do this for probably months now but that's what I did it looks like something <laughs> I don't know I probably I need to go over it again with the putty and then I'm gonna have to like sand it really good but I guess this is just the good and bad about DIY there will be hiccups there will be things that you didn't think you're gonna have to do and I mean I still need to like fix the framing and I need to fix things but you know it looks better than it did because it doesn't look like a different color it's all the same color now and I fill in all of the screw holes and things I just use wall putty because that's what I have and it'll work because I'm just going to paint over it so it's not a big deal either way okay so now in the living room we're going to hang up this curtain rod because I'm replacing the window treatments on this window and we had the curtain rod but we didn't have the curtain at the time and I did I do hang up the curtain later on in this video so you'll see how that looks um, I'm still trying to decide if I want to take down the blinds or not I probably will wait a minute to do it because I don't want to do it yet to, mostly um, so Devin hung up this curtain rod for me which was really nice of him and I think it just looks 
so much nicer and you'll see later on in the video how it looks nicer with the curtains and everything it just feels good to have these little jobs done that have been hanging over our head and just little things that have been needing to get done and I've been having the energy right now to do it so you know I just I'm pushing myself to get things done um so we got the curtain rod hung and then now I'm lifting up these blinds you can see it takes a minute to do, but you can hang them up all the way and they're like tucked up all the way into the frame, which is awesome, which you can't do with other blinds. And cause I really needed to clean this window guys. I have not cleaned this window in months, <laughs> like so long. I need to go outside and clean the outside of this window as well. But what I use is the Sprayway glass cleaner in the aerosol can. And then I use newspaper because it makes it streak free it's I don't know what it is it's magic it does something it's just really good and so yeah that's what I'm doing here guys I think that the first time I heard this song was on a video from the wads which is probably one of my very favorite YouTube channels and I think I get a lot of like my inspiration from her channel as well just because I don't know I feel like me and her are like kindred spirits we're very similar <laughs> in a lot of ways and we're also different in some ways as well but I don't know I think she's great but I like the moment I started hearing her music in her videos I was like where does she get her music and she actually gets it from a website called Epidemic Sound and it took me a minute to decide to actually like get a subscription to Epidemic Sound but if you make videos and if you struggle to find royalty free music, it's such a great place to find it. So I will have my link below if you want to check it out and see see what it is about, see if it's like worth the money. I understand everything is crazy. <laughs> it took me a long time. I think it took me like a year to decide to actually get e epidemic sound. So this song is called Nobody Loves Me Better by Steer Zetterberg. I'm probably butchering his name, but that's what it is. So there we go. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you Get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Nobody loves me better Guess I'm just Get to settle down There'd be many nights I got too high And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared And lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us Gotta say So 
I use a lot of this singer or uh, band's music in my videos, and I think that they, like, her voice is really interesting. It's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just got, like, this whininess to it. It's really interesting and very beautiful. And this is a new song that I just discovered, and I'm pretty excited about it. I really like it. It's called What Is It Like by Loving Caliber, and I listen to her music, like, Truly, like, I'll sing along while I'm putting these videos together. I'll sing along while I'm editing. It's kind of fun, but here it is. What's it like to be the one that he turns to when he's out of answers? What's it like? Like, man, can't she sing? It's just, I don't know. I can sing too, okay? Don't get me wrong. It's just, it's nice to listen to someone else sing also. <laughs> Did you just hear that? That was Roxy. I, I hope that the microphone caught that. That was her yawning or groaning or something. I don't know. She's just laying on the floor next to me and so is Minion too. And they're so silly. Dan was being so cute. He brought his puzzle onto my bed while I folded laundry. And if you didn't catch that, he was, like, trying to give Minion a hug while Minion was, like, standing. He was standing about where he is now, but Dan was, like, on the floor trying to give Minion a hug. And it's just, they're just so cute. Um, Minion is usually pretty grumpy. I call him a grump butt because he's usually a grump butt. <laughs> and he's usually pretty grumpy. But it's all good. Uh, Minion and Roxy, like, Minion is, like, the grumpy old man, and he's, like, the little dog. And then Roxy is just this 
She has so much energy, boundless energy, and she jumps around and she's crazy. And she, obviously she's still a puppy. She's like a year, she turned a year old in April. So I guess she's, she's like slowly getting out of the puppy stage, but it's, it's a slow, it's a slow thing. <laughs> um, but she's very sweet and yeah. Um, so I'm just putting away some laundry because there's always a load of laundry to put away always, forever, and always. There's still more to put away. Um, but I'm still, honestly, after we went camping, I'm still trying to, like, keep up and catch up because I haven't gotten back on top of it like I had been. I was trying to do, like, before we went camping, I was doing, like, one to two loads a day and putting it away pretty immediately. Not every time, but, like, it would never get more than, like, one basket full of laundry. But right now, I guess there's one basket full of laundry that's clean right now but it's like two or three loads that I stuffed in there anyway so I'm still getting on top of it still trying to but I was also working on other projects that were more important to me than getting laundry put away as long as laundry's clean I'm pretty happy to like really though <sighs> clean laundry is so important <laughs> but putting it away is slightly less important I'm gonna say that um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get back on track, trying to get things put away, trying to get my life put together. However, if you see my bed is made, I have made my bed every day this week. I feel very accomplished. Okay. My bed, I didn't, I didn't used to do that. I didn't used to do that, but if I have like nice bedding, then I actually want to put my bedding back together every day. Um, and if I do that, then I actually try not to like get back in bed and you know, all, all those things. And so, yeah, so I just put away Dan's clothes and like, here I am showing you what his curtains look like. Cause it's important. Apparently cleaning up all of the trash that Dan put on the floor. And I gave him this hanger because he, um, because it was broken and I told him to go throw it away and that's where he put it. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's fine. He stole my laundry basket and is pushing it around the house. It's all good. It's just what happens when you have a two-year-old. But, um, so I'm just cleaning up. And then I, while I was, like, um, eating lunch. No, no, no. Dan's eating lunch right now in the clip. But while I was making lunch, the curtain came in the mail. So I decided to just throw it up really quick before I put Dan down for a nap. And... Yeah, I think it looks a lot better. I'm still trying to decide if I should take down the blinds or not. I don't know. It's hard to decide. Um, they do kind of like the they do kind of poke through, but it does hide like it does keep more light out with the blinds there. So it's kind of a hard decision. But honestly, the curtains do a really good job of keeping the light out. They're blackout curtains, so it would probably be fine if I just did the curtain itself, but like you can't even really tell that the blinds are there once the curtain's up and, you know, it's all good. <laughs> it's fine for now. Uh, Dan messed up my living room, so I decided since I was here, I'd pick it up, just get it picked up. I need to vacuum again probably. But this video was really just me trying to do things that I've been putting off, like the cabinet and filling in the doorway and putting up all these curtains, things that I've just been pushing off and things that I've been, you know, not wanting to do, but they definitely needed to be done. And I do think my house is better for it. So yeah, it feels good. All right, guys. No, my hair does not look amazing today, but nor will it probably ever. But I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm going to go put Dan down for his nap. And yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>